like to do something. There we go. In the Phaedo. Hold on a second. Uh, What's the relation of the soul to the self? One moment. Tell me when you're ready. Ready. Now, in no way will you be able to see this question unless you have the lobe with you. That's all. This issue is not in the translation of Rouse, Jowett, Thomas Taylor. So we can get the material out and share it. There are several mysteries in this. Let's see if we can find it, right? So, uh, <clears throat> hey, 80, 89 it says, what is the to 90, the of the soul to the 67. These are the sections, very simple. Fine. So we'll get a reader to read it aloud, and the rest of you make notes, okay, about that, what's being said. Then you can compare it with the work that you have, other than the Balboa translation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Robert, do you have it? Um, sure. What, it looks like you're section? looking. Yeah, yeah, I have it on my, he has the, he, I let him, I let him to read, if you speak loudly, or if you need a reader, I'll read. Where? The lobe is of no consequence. 67? The lobe? No, it is of no consequence. You're saying we shouldn't read this one. It doesn't matter. It is of no consequence. Hmm. Well, Spit on it. I thought you said that we needed to look at the lobe. I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> we are going to use the Balboa translation. Okay. Oh. You will not find what we're looking for in any other translation. Oh, oh, that's oh. I can't read. I don't have Balboa. Okay. Um, and the microphone goes to? 67. Who's got what? the Balboa? Here. 67 what? I don't Looks know. like Regina does. Take a look. So I am with no, no, come on. You can go for it. What's your trip? <laughs> I'm doing fine. What are you? Where's your 267? Did you want to make a comparison between the, the lobe and no, the. Not yet. Okay. Only after we look at the Balboa. Okay. So it did encourage us to take those. Okay, uh, 67, C5. Well, why didn't you just say All right. Or really, it's C. Is it not the case then? <clears throat> From there? Socrates. But accordingly, okay, you have that section, Barbara? Mm -hmm. mm. 67. <laughs> Does this purification not turn out to be 
what we mentioned in our discourse some time ago, namely, the separation of the soul as far as possible from the body, and to be accustomed to gather herself together from all quarters, and to collect self by self out of the body, and to dwell alone by self. Okay. As far as she is able, Sorry. both now and in the future, being liberated from, as it were, the chains of the body. Good. Want to come on? We're going to read it again. Yes. Question: Are there two distinct processes going on? Keep it in mind. Go ahead. Do it again. But accordingly, does this purification not turn out to be? what we mentioned in our discourse some time ago, namely, the separation of the soul as far as possible from the body, and to be accustomed to gather herself together from all quarters, and to collect itself by self, to collect self by self out of the body, and to dwell alone by self as far as she is able, both now and in the future, being liberated from, as it were, the chains of the body. Okay, let me ask you the question. What's the process of the separating the soul from the body? Go back into the quote. To gather herself together from all quarters. More? And to collect self by self out of the body. Purification. And to dwell alone yeah. by itself, yeah. right? Yeah, see? Um. Repeat. And the word, and to be, mm. go ahead from that point on. Right, thank you, I needed that. And to be accustomed to See, gather herself that's, together. That's, that's a process, you have to accustom it. You have to do it again and again. Okay, accustom it to do what? Collect herself together so from you, all quarters. So from all, from parts, all parts of the body. From everywhere. All right? Okay, that's the soul. That's the first thing, is that correct? Yes. Okay, second part. And to collect self by self out of the body. And to collect itself together, together, self, sorry, to collect itself by self out of the body. That's pretty tricky, self by self. Okay, now look here. What's wrong? Right, and to dwell alone by the self, right? Mm -hmm. Look here. Uh, would you agree if someone is describing a process 
that someone else should be able to follow it and do it if the process is complete? And well described, yeah. So? Yeah, the problem that occurs to me is he's describing the goals of this process, but not the process itself and how to do it. What's, what is he leaving out? You're right. What is he leaving out? The steps. The steps. No. What else? Hmm. The description of what it's like to do that. Do what? Um, collect yourself together. Right. right. What's lacking? We don't have a description of what it's like to do That's that. That's right. That's right. Right here. See? Right. We don't have that. Either one. So, there are all kinds of people today that are giving all kinds of reports of the separation of soul from the body. Right. There are books written about it. About people in an operating table and they find themselves they're able to separate the soul from the body and they can walk they can look around at distant things. And many of the people when they hear about that want to make sure and can you tell mm. us something that you couldn't have seen had you not done that mm -hmm. in the way in which you just described? So they're looking for verification whether or not it is possible to separate the soul from the body. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the psychic apparatus is still functioning. They can see things. They're still using cognitive functions of the sense world, are they not? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, it's based on what you can see. Therefore, it is incomplete. The separation of the soul from the body is incomplete. Ah. Unless you, you should go to those people and say, hey, I got news for you. You have to do this. You have to do this. Hmm. Interesting. And it's likely they might say, how? What is the process? Mm -hmm. Agree? Yes. Yeah. Now, let's go to 89 to 91. Same question. See, because 80, 89 to 91 is what is it like? All right, look here. Pulling together. the soul from the body, and then, hey, and then, what does it experience? once it has done this. Hmm. Because it's quite obvious that the people can do this part of it and they, didn't, they have no way of even thinking there's something beyond it they might be able to do. So therefore, let's see what is encountered after this takes place in the process, okay? All right, let's go. Eighty-nine, ninety. Yeah. Are you sure it's eighty-nine? Pardon? Are you sure it's eighty-nine? I don't know. Could be seventy-nine. I don't know. Let me make sure. I often confuse eighty-nine with uh, seventy-nine. Yeah, you're probably right. Excuse me. What number? Pierce thinking it's seventy-nine. Yeah, you're quite right. Thank you. Seventy-nine to eighty-one. <clears throat> That's right. Ninety is the Chinese quote. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Are we talking about like 79C, something like well, that? Well, at 80C. 80C. Okay. 
But ADC, you have a very good quote. <coughs> Realize then? Okay, yes. Okay. Realize then that when a human body dies, on the one hand, the visible part of self can also lie outstretched in the visible realm, which we surely call the corpse, which naturally dissolves and decomposes, but does not immediately undergo any of these processes, but still remains for a reasonably long time, even a very long time, if someone happens to die with their body in a suitable condition and in a suitable season. For when the body is bound together and embalmed, just as the embalmers do in Egypt, it remains almost whole for a remarkably, remarkable length of time. And even if it should decay, some parts of the body, as all bones and sinews and the like, are nevertheless, one might say, deathless. Is that not so? Yeah, sure. On the other hand, will the soul, that which is formless, which makes her way to the other realm, that which is noble and pure and formless, if truly to Hades, as if truly to Hades, in company with the good and mindful God, to which, God willing, my soul must soon be winging, will then our soul be scattered, which is surely of this kind and nature, and be destroyed as soon as she leaves the body, as the majority of human beings say? Far from it indeed, O oh dear Cebes and Simeus, but what must happen is much more like this. If, on the one hand, she is pure upon leaving, dragging along nothing of the body, as far as she had no voluntary association with it in life, but avoided it and gathered self together, self in herself, inasmuch as she always practiced this. But this is nothing else than practicing philosophy, rightly and really practicing to die. Or is this not what practicing dying should be? Most absolutely it is. On the one hand, is it not the case that when self abides in this way, she makes her way to the formless, to that which is like self, the divine and deathless and mindful, which upon arriving, self will be a blessed spirit, having rid self of one wandering, ignorance, fear, violent desires, and other human defects. And on the other hand, just as is said concerning the initiates, that she will truly spend the rest of time with the gods. Shall we say it in this way, O Cebes, or in some other way? In this way, by Zeus. Do you want to hear the negative, or are you no. good? Do we have the same thing going on twice? First, we have the idea of gathering itself together. And what do we have here? We have gathered together again. No. Collect itself together. Uh -huh. Gather the self together, the self in, right? In herself. Yep. And we have it as a practice more clearly, too. Yeah, all of Therefore, there are two processes. Yes. They're different. Yes. And mm. does he give us any details on how to do it? No. Right. Therefore, it's a mystery. It's a mystery, yeah, absolutely. It says, it says all it is is having really pursued philosophy rightly. Yeah. So it's something you can look back on and say, it's a done deal. If, right. if you can do that, yeah. which is what? Which is what? What do you have to do? You have to um, know that if you pursue philosophy rightly, mm. that that's what it is. See, mm. you're right. You're yeah. reading the Roush, that's what it says. Oh, yeah. That's not what the Balboa's okay. translation is it? Okay. Is that correct? Is well, there any sense of okay. collecting or gathering the self and herself? 
in your translation? Well, that's a, that's a little uh, difference. That's, pardon me, I don't know about little. <laughs> because this focuses on really having practice being in a state of death. The Balboa says to practice dying. And so is that the process we talked about that they're focusing on? That's what it looks like. And this is actually being in a state of death. But that didn't deal with the question we raised. Right. The question that I asked was, is there any reference to the idea of the self and the load? Mm -hmm. Or in Rausch. Hmm. Well, in the load it says gathered itself into itself. Yeah. Well, itself into itself. Yeah, itself. Gathered, gathered. Yeah. Itself can be referred back to soul, though. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, there's really good reason in the Greek to do that. But yeah, what so? No. Well, there's good reason for doing both. Well, okay. Like why would he shoot? Why would why would the feminine alte be used? I mean, right? We know soul is feminine. Look, you're absolutely right. Look her. That can refer to, that can refer to the soul, right? Herself, because this is a reference back to some subject, right? However, he uses herself as he does here, in herself, does that continuously. So the question is, why does he need a feminine aspect of self? Well, and is that appropriate? It's only appropriate if the idea of self is capable of generating like if so, then it's a feminine, since it is a, it can be said to be a generative model, and that can take the feminine. Okay, All right? Got the puzzle? Back into it? Well. Yes, please. Well, but there's, I mean, is there another thing, too, that uh, the self should not be something that needs to be purified, that it's shining always from above, and this whole idea of gathering and meditating is something that's more proper for the language of soul than self? But no, the question is whether they are two separate and distinct processes first. Mm. Okay. Separate and distinct processes. There's a separation of the soul from the body, and then gathering and collecting the self together for its exit into this higher state of mind. But the question is whether there are two processes. What does it look like? Yeah, maybe that there might be some clues implicit in what we've read as far as the process. Because on, on the one hand, in the first... Let's hope so. Well, in the first part, separation from the body, the body, I'm sorry, separation of the soul from the body, and even collecting the soul together, it implies knowledge of the soul. It implies first, knowledge. Or self. You must know what the self is versus the things of the body in order to distinguish. Quite true. Presumably. So yeah. that and in itself may be a clue to a process. Yeah. It See. implies knowledge. Yeah, uh, that's why I use that NDE experience. 
there are people who can separate the soul from the body, but they're still functioning through the senses. They can then describe things in the everyday world. This is saying we should go and talk to those people and let them know that there's a higher process. They've gotten the first part, they need to get to the second part. And the question is, he doesn't furnish the details on how and what are the processes and what is it like to do that. And right. therefore, we have a map that lacks details. What do you think of that? Oh, um, Good beginning. I think it's, okay, this is a soul that never willingly associated with the body. So it's not going to resist leaving. So it's going to be pretty clean, I think. It's out of there. Did you need the word self in this description? This is the soul. Do you need any, do you need the use of the word self? Um, How? So far you haven't used it. Well, it says it avoided the body and never willingly associated with it, with the body and life, but avoided it and gathered itself into itself alone, since this has always been its constant study. So then if it's gathering the self into itself, mm -hmm. is that an additional process? Yeah. Oh. And Do you need to highlight that? If there's an additional process after the separation of the soul from yeah. the body? Yeah, those are two separate. Mm -hmm. hmm. How about Papa Rausch? Does he, is he, does he offer any help? See, in this whole process, right, what is the role of the individual? Hmm. Does the individual need anything else? But itself? Hmm. No. No. Thank you. The individual what? That's right. <laughs> what do you mean the individual? The, the body? Or? How, how is it you answered and now you ask about it? <laughs> what are you making? What are you doing? With the self. Or both. The self, same soul. The question was what is the role of the individual in this process? Does he need anything other than his own efforts? He doesn't have to do anything, just the self. No. Right? Mm -hmm. Is that right? If you look at the text, Does he need oh. anything other than his own self? I mean, the, the result is going to the presence of the good and wise God, the noble, the pure, the invisible. That's true. So that's, he that's, where he is. that's where he goes. Yeah. Does he get any help from those things? He doesn't say that. Doesn't say that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, in Juan Balboa's translation, it says, in company, that you're going in company with the good and mindful God. It doesn't say that it's helping you. No. No. But uh, a company, so they're... Right. That's what said. Yeah. They're going and together. Yeah. Yeah. But again... But no help. No help. Right? So if you're a Christian, <laughs> you're out. Look, the same thing is true uh, in the Symposium of the Republic and all of these things. Uh, 
He will highlight the goal and he will not tell you the process getting to it. Okay, fair enough. Hmm. Why? Either well, a, we don't know. He's not around to ask us. But go ahead. Well, either it's a secret teaching or he just didn't know. Uh, he did know, but he didn't want to tell us for some other reason. Or he wanted us to figure it out. Key Plato, you're talking. Yes, yes. Well, you see, if he's keeping that to himself and he knows it's wrong, <laughs> we'll grade him down. Yeah. If, however, he doesn't know, this raises the big question is there a difference between Socrates and Plato? Mm -hmm. Isn't there, if, if he doesn't know, because he's Socrates, because he's Plato and not Socrates, doesn't it also ask the question, why didn't he ask Socrates? Because there was a time that they lived contemporaneously, right? Hey, he didn't ask, hey, uh, how did, what did you experience and how did you get to that experience of being able to stay in one spot for 24 hours and meditate and not move? Right. Hey, Socrates, uh, you're able to you know, do the mountain trip and go your way through snow, well, only with a very bare garment. Uh, that sounds like Tibetan Thumo. Uh, how did you get it? <clears throat> mm -hmm. No explanation. No explanation. Right? In the Republic, where he talks about, finally talks about the nature of the good, it's only one line, and that's all. No description, how do you go from the idea of the good to the good itself? Right. Therefore, I wanted to, this is a prelude. I would like to see if we can gather some money and give it to Jeff, and he's going to go get this data and come back with us, and we'll have, a, we'll have a party. I'll contribute. <laughs> yeah, great, I'll contribute. So this uh, seems like the man to do it. It's already started. Which Jeff? Uh, Jeff Lowe. Jeff Lowe. Jeff Lowe. Jeff Lowe. <laughs> 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 uh, we I'll have two Jeffs. They can split it. That's right. Neither of us will ever turn down money coming in our direction. It's just the work involved. It's the problem. What kind of data? <laughs> yeah, what exactly are you looking for? How the data. To, to, to pull off the trip and what you go through. Right. In departing the body or the second the part? The gathering together, the, well, everything that hasn't been expressed. Well, you were asking here. Go ahead, answer him. Okay. Well, do you gather, does the soul gather itself into itself before it leaves the body? Or yeah, does it thinking. get out of there yeah, and then it? Well, the, uh, yeah, it's, the way I was reading it, like, you, you got to do the gathering business to. Get out. get out. I wouldn't say that the gathering is higher than the And that's out. reading critically. It should be there, not just his opinion, but yeah. it should be able to be that's supported. Right. It's in the lobe. Well, it's also in the lobe. Well, if you look if you look at the verb in Greek for mm -hmm. gathering, it's a perfect. Mm -hmm. That means it's, a, it's already been done. So, like, if I read that same part, it says, but fleeing it, I'm just translating right now, and having gathered herself into herself, yeah. well, it doesn't necessarily. Yeah, it's a W. Okay, so fleeing it is in the present, and then the soon after the gathering is uh, perfect. Having gathered herself into herself, mm. since she's always practicing this. Yeah, she's always. She's practicing. always practicing this, the gathering. Mm. Or the collecting. The collecting. They could be simultaneous. I mean, uh, at the very least, the fleeing it is in the present. That's a possibility. It could it be separate? Well, could since be he describes it as two processes, and we know that there are many people who go through the separation and do not experience the nature of ultimate reality. And they always come back. Those same people always come back. 
<laughs> those people. Those people you just mentioned. Are they NAG people? Yeah. No. You know, I think just I'm not that. sure I got your point. <laughs> Do the other, are you suggesting the other may not? <clears throat> well, I thought that's what you were suggesting. Oh. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, the when he thing. finally makes the, the con, when he finally makes the judgment about collecting the self, he then adds what Barbara quoted. He, they then the philosopher then accompanies the gods into the higher world. Right. Like the So that. That either may be here or the next place. Right. Right. Or third place. Right. Or both. Yeah. Now look here. See? And which is like itself here. Is that what you're saying? Uh, depends yeah. on where you're quoting from. Oh, I but remember that. In such a condition, it goes away into that which is like itself. But Gabo calls it the divine. Yeah. And the question there is, yeah. like itself, could either be the soul or self? There could be an antecedent to that. It may refer to either one. Is it likely that if you could write a note to Socrates and ask him some questions, you need additional information? Would you send it to Socrates or Plato? Uh, both. <laughs> and they'll compare their answers. Who would you send it to? Socrates. Why? Well, because we have no evidence that, that Plato has the answer. Yeah. Only Socrates. Socrates reportedly did it. Yeah. 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 So, one question I have. Reportedly by Plato. Is it possible Plato? that there's a shortcut, at least to the first stage? Like, is there any Shortcuts. state most people experience where they're already partially or, or mostly separated from the body? Yeah. Other than death. Yeah. Dreams. Um, during childbirth, very often women experience it. That would be tough for me. <laughs> Pardon? That would be hard for me to do. Why is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Extreme extremists that are engaged in all kinds of athletics and. Uh, Extreme sports experience the same thing. Paranormal experiences, sleep deprivation. How about past life regression? Past life regression. And we go back into time and space and by believing something. Let's hope let's hope they get there. Well, that's <laughs> yeah, but see, then what we need to do is collect all of these stories from people who have had such experiences to see whether we can go ahead and add what is missing in Plato. Good idea. Huh? So, so, so Plato's not perfect? Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> He's not. <laughs> I guess that follows. Gosh. But there's things missing. I gotta change my mind. <laughs> right, we'll go back to Jeff's point. He either has a secret teaching that he's peddling on the side, probably for donuts and coffee. Well, I mean, isn't the point that this is a, you gotta do this? You gotta, 
I mean, we could go and ask other people about their experiences. All right, get a collection. That's, but then what about doing it? Yeah. <clears throat> well, then if you get a number, a number of accounts, you may decide to do it yourself. <laughs> Hopefully sooner rather than later. So what I think you're describing is to gather all these different accounts from these examples that you listed and marked, and then find the commonality amongst all of them. Do it just for fun. Where, just where for they fun. differ, where are they similar? And do an analysis that way. Well, um, see if that from there you can derive a procedure or a process or steps. See, the question comes back down to what do you mean by collecting? Is, and is it possible that there may be something else that's needed as well as collecting? That goes back to the issue of knowledge of the self or self That's right. Because in order to collect the soul or self, you must be able to distinguish that, distinguish it from what is not the self and the soul. There has to be that discernment. See, the critical point of the NDE people's experience is you'd have to tell them, hey, pull out of this experiencing the phenomenal world. Or you're not going to get anywhere other than where you are. So what kind of advice and what kind of words would you use to tell them? So you wouldn't say collect. Yeah. It's likely you'd say drop it. Drop all the things you're doing. Viewing things taking flights into the different realms or, or different dimensions, and say, hey, stop being a tourist. Eh, drop it all. Is dropping it all collecting or gathering? No. Discarding. Different. Right. So therefore, look here, how important is somehow dropping it all. You know, everybody, everybody that I've ever spoken to all know how to do this. Do you, do you want to test it? Okay. Say, how do you fall asleep? Come on, what do you do to fall asleep? That's a good one. What else? <laughs> close, your eyes. close your eyes. What else? Um, like it's a good time to get into a fantasy? No. Yeah, that's why kids have their parents read them stories before they go to bed. Come on. What do you do? Come on. What do you do to fall asleep? Put your head on the pillow. Come on. More. Be horizontal. Be relaxed. Do you yeah. have to pull away from all of the... Let Whatever go. is going on? Yes, and drop it. Yeah, it's not everything. Drop it. More. Come on. How do you do it? Yes, just drop it. Drift. You, you discard everything that is not. You discard. See? Look here. It's this. You're dropping. Drop it. You're discarding. Oh. It's not collecting. That's positive. You're, you're doing what? Well, you're collecting yourself as you drop away from what's not yourself. See, one of the great Tibetan meditations is to watch yourself falling asleep. Why? Because they make the claim that everybody, for the flash of a clip, right? For a, that much time, you experience the nature of ultimate reality before you fall asleep. You are actually in a meditative state. You're dropping everything. See, you're going through a yoga, personal yoga, falling asleep. If you can watch yourself 
at that moment of passing into sleep, they'll see something. That's a meditation, see? But then, would you be then, come on, what would you be telling yourself to do? What? To see. It, it sounds like where we, we are heading, maybe one way to state it, is to fall asleep but remain awake. Discard but remain awake. Mm -hmm. Because it is eminently possible in games of meditation to be aware during your whole night of sleeping and not lose consciousness. So the implication is at that point you have separated but, from the body right, and but, remain aware. Throughout. Yeah, but not, they haven't yet entered into the higher state. Not the second state. That's right. Merely to be aware right. as you drop the body. That's right. So everybody has the experience of separating the soul from the body because that's how you fall asleep. <laughs> and that's how you dream. Isn't, isn't dreaming? Yeah, I think your point needs, needs a few more words. Isn't right. dreaming being in the state of separating from your body? Well. It's perfectly okay. What do you want to do with what you're saying? Then dreaming might be a practice of being dead. Being dead. Or waking up in a different world. And that's being dead to one and waking up to another. Of course. If it was, then it'd have to have all the descriptions of what it's like to be dead in the Fado, where you go, mm. what you go with, who you meet there, who you're in company with. I haven't had many dreams like that. But. All right. <laughs> okay, look. Um, if we gather these accounts. Gather. Uh, who should we get to do that? Um, it, uh, Elgar, I think give it to him to do it. Sure, but if he doesn't return, I want my money back. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, hey, look here. If you collect those accounts, what are you going to look for? Further details in what's going on. And here's the biggest one, right? <clears throat> That's not true. That's true only for the first part, separating the soul from the body. It has nothing to do with the soul. What is the role of the individual? The self is active in this process. In this process, in this process, uh, here's the uh, brilliant light of being. You can't get in that without experiencing the possibility that you may never get out of it. That is to say, you may drop dead in the middle of it and go into the next world with a called a Mahasamadhi, right? Which is the way certain yogas, they get into the, this kind of a state and they eclipse and they die through it. Right, that was the Muktananda, right? So at that moment, hey, you have to be willing to die. You have to risk death. Mm. Or you're not going to get it. But that means you then have to have somehow 
an acceptance of the goodness of the nature of reality, or you're not going to be able to do it. Therefore, you're not doing it yourself. How so? Just say what we just said. You have to be willing to. To death, die. To go through death. To let go. Stay where we were. So I just want to make sure I understand correctly. You're saying in the first stage, during the separation of the soul from the body, the self plays a role in that. But a, a modest role in that. <laughs> yes, sure, a, any kind of role. But not when the soul collects itself. And I'm taking the word collect out of there. Discards. That's that which is not soul, so that it can enter into the brilliant light of being. There is no self playing a role in the higher stage. Mm. Individual. Is that correct, or am I wrong? Julie, is David having people over tomorrow morning? No, he's all in Europe. Oh, he's in Europe. At this point, at this point, you're aware that you are a, you are close. At that moment, you realize that you must, in fact, face your own death. The only way you can do that is to have a sense of the essential goodness of the nature of reality. You mean trust in trust. Yes. Courage. That's courage. Mm -hmm. The highest. Faith? Is that like faith? What? If you if that takes place, then you can then enter into brilliant light of being. Therefore, it is not exclusively something that you do on your own but now you're making a motion towards trust in the nature of the goodness of the universe so and willing to go along with it. So on the other side is providence yeah. helping in its way. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Only on the other side? What? Well, I was just wondering. Raphael said on the other side there's providence. So I was wondering if it was only the other side. Well, I'm just meaning within the context of this yeah. model that we're playing. No. Pierre, what's the green? I can't, what, I'm sorry, what's the green on your, or on the top? I couldn't read that very faint green color that you talked about being close, divine but not there yet. Divine luminosity. Divi so oh. divine luminosity is before the brilliant light of being? This is dawn of the. Dawn hey. of the what? Hey. Divine dawn luminosity. Dawn of the divine. Hey. One, stage one. Okay. Thank you. Hey. Two. Three, four. What is that two? Three from now on. Hmm. 
What's two? The brilliant light of being. Those are specific stages. So, in what way would that keep you from being alone? What? Why are you not alone if you have some sense of the goodness of essential goodness of the nature of reality? Well, you're trust you're trusting something else. That's so interesting. <laughs> You're trusting, you're trusting the nature of reality is essentially good. Therefore, there's nothing to fear in facing your death. Does that cause you to participate goodness? Well, I'm, gonna, I'm using that word with uh, quotation marks. Uh, there is also, depending upon... Uh, As you go from uh, one to two, there is a uh, uh, an awareness that that uh, uh, I'm going to just call it goodness. is uh, uh, attracting you mm -hmm. to it. Mm. That's also going on. Mm. So that's between one and two. You mean love? Yes. Mm. From the symposium. Yeah, yeah. That, that can take that word. But it's uh, uh, the goodness, the goodness, the goodness. Why did you come? Why did we come here tonight? Pardon? <laughs> I was wondering why did we come here tonight? <sighs> Nothing else to do. Well, I think it was goodness. <laughs> Nothing better to do. <laughs> One last thing. So. At the end of this process, we have the brilliant, most brilliant light of being. Do it again. At the end of this process, we have the most brilliant light of being. right over. But then there's something beyond that. Oh, yes. I, didn't, I was hoping no one would mention that. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't make mention of that at all. Yeah. This has nothing to do with the, the next step, which is to the one itself, yeah. or the self. Yeah, that's right. So only once we've dropped everything and we've, we're willing to die and we've accepted that the nature of reality is good, then we get help. No. Or, so to speak. No, the help is there. You don't have to get it. <laughs> you have to trust it's there first before you can be aware of its presence. This process is also similar to the dia negativa when one talks about the one. Yeah. In that you're not trying to get pieces of soul and somehow put them together. Yeah. You're discarding things that are not soul. You're discerning things that are not soul and then acting appropriately. Yeah, but and, and uh, uh, it's essential though that all of the negative qualities about the one are transferred to the idea of the self. Yes. That's yeah. why I mean it's similar. Yeah, right. Similar. right. 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 Mm. Yeah, I have kind of a question, Link two kind of questions. But one is, um, when you said that there's a goodness that you are attracted to, and then 
you also said that when you trust in it, you are become aware of it. Be when you trust that there is an essential goodness to reality, you can become aware of it. And But you said it's attracting you to it. So that made me wonder if it was like charm. No. The okay. similar relationship. No. Similar relationship. No. And my other question... Well, so it has a power. Yeah. The goodness has a power. Sure. And so what's the relationship between it and the beauty of the symposium? The experience of the highest, is there a... Uh, see. Um, or is, well, the brilliant light of being, okay, maybe I don't have a question. If I do, but I'm... Did you just pull out of it? No, I was complaining to it's myself okay, that, maybe, that maybe I should go question. and do homework. What, what? I, sorry, I was complaining to myself that maybe I should go and do homework See, instead. The experience in the symposium is not brilliant light of being. Hmm. It's true. What? Why? Yeah. How so, dear? Yeah. It's truth. Oh, but isn't the beauty the most brilliant light of being? That's a different kind of experience. Hey. Interesting. Like Socrates in the Republic urges not to experience truth, but the most brilliant light of being. Through the whole dialogue. And he mentions the use of the, the idea of the one or the self once, one sentence. It's not clear. He's not interested in it. Hmm. He's interested in, the, in this experience hmm. because it's intimately connected with justice, hmm. goodness and justice <coughs> as the subject of that experience. Wow. Um, I did have a question, which is, uh, or a kind of comment. The second term uh, of the process after you've separated from the body, the in, at 67, is it? Where it is, uh, the, I did notice when I looked this time that the first term of collecting together is like we talked about on in our mornings, that it's a mustering, it's a gathering, a mustering. But the second term can be used for massing, all right? And the, the reason I think that's significant is when you drop or discard things, then the soul can be uh, collected self into itself, which is a kind of massing, maybe. That's a way to... Uh, try I was to save the idea of collecting, and it's worth trying. Yeah. Uh, but I don't see that in a process that we have described of right. doing something called collecting. Right. So, yeah. Well, I mean, it's not. It's and it wouldn't be an active process either. Whereas collecting does sound like it's active. No. No. no why would it be active? Discarding. And the, the oh. end result upon the self, it sounds passive. But, but that's, your, uh, that's your interpretation of that, uh, that verb? Which that, one? That, that indicates massing, as you called it? Uh-huh. Gathering into one mass. That's when mass began. No, no, no. Well, it, it's middle too, middle passive. Well, a voice aside, is that right? Soon. Yeah, that's the that's the. At the right so. So I, I was just wondering if it's would then if you translated the middle passive aspect, then it becomes um, to to be gathered into one mass for itself or by itself. 
still active, isn't it? Hmm. I mean, it is a kind of a. And anyway, I'm just playing with it. Take a look. So, in this discussion tonight, if I understand correctly, we've added a whole other dimension to the power and and value and, and beauty of dreams. Right? We've always talked about dreams in terms of the pathologos, presenting a problem to the subject. But this is a whole other thing. This is yeah. this is a doorway or a yoga yeah. if approached correctly, purely for, for spiritual purposes. So looking at these two these two aspects of dreams, how does this compare with Socrates' statement? about dreams in the Republic. Socrates only has one paragraph on dreams. Yeah. And it's down to one sentence. You can't get anything more out of it. Mm. He doesn't develop a theory for dreams. He doesn't offer a way to understand them or the, or the significance of his had. That's just, that's not his, he mentions it. So, same thing here, no details. Right, opening, right, the opening passage in Book Nine in Plato's Republic is the section on dreams. It's just a, it's just a brief statement, make certain claims for it, but no analysis. No process. What was his claim again? Oh, well, dreams allow you to have a vision of the present, past, and future. And it also is a way to vision. Past, present, and future. No, but again, hmm. no detail. Okay, I thought that's enough for the night. Right. So, can I ask? So, at sixty-seven, it said there are two terms: gathering and collecting. However, you want to put those together. But then, at, at where we are now, at eighty-one, it then it does it. Are you saying that they only have one verb for collecting together? And then they talk about the state of being with the formless. So are you saying that it appears that that second process only has one collecting together and not two? OK, I just wanted to be sure I was with it. OK. All right? OK, I'm free. All right, you're free? I'm free. All right. All right. Now, <laughs> now you get to um, just collect yourself. Uh, <laughs>